What is going on, everybody? My name is Michael Levan. Thank you for joining me today. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about code quality with Go, but specifically garbage collection. So if you've ever used a language like maybe C++, for example, you'll know that, let's say you define a variable and you don't use that variable throughout your code, your code will break. The compiler will be like, nope, you're doing something wrong. And the reason why is because the garbage collection is awesome. So it's the same thing in Go. When you try to use, like, when, let's say you try to specify a variable and that variable isn't used anywhere in the code, the compiler is going to be like, no, you can't use this. And the reason why is because it's not like there's something wrong with the syntax or anything. It's literally because Go is like, you are using memory for something in your program that isn't actually being used. Why are you doing this? So when it comes to quote code quality, it's obviously very good when it comes to Go. And that's just built in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at that and how it compares to another language like Python. I have some Python code here just to show the, the key differences. So the first thing you're going to see is def, which is defining a function, and then test. Test is going to be our function. So we have testing, and that equals one, two, three. Now testing on line two is a variable. And then we have the print function or the print method where we can print out one, two, three. And then we're going to call our function at the end so we can actually run it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this function. So we'll do Python test.py, and then we could see one, two, three. Now, what happens if we define testing one equals, hello there, YouTube, put a comma here. All right, now we're gonna try to run this again, and we can see that testing one, two, three is defined, but it's not used. So there's nothing that we're actually doing in this code to initiate testing one. But if we wanted to, we could do print. Oh, I actually ran that debugger on accident. That's okay. Okay, and we can see that hello there, YouTube was printed out. But again, let's say we remove this so we don't use it at all. And we can see that the compiler is just fine. Like it doesn't, it doesn't care. The, the garbage collector, it's like, nope, no problem. We're going to run this anyways. So what this does is this essentially uses up memory. On line two, you're defining a variable. You're making your program bigger, even though it's by one variable. But still, you are making your program bigger. And the variable actually isn't doing anything. So let's head over to a Go test, and we're going to see the same thing. So now I have the same type of code essentially in Go that we had in Python. So I have my package main and I'm, I'm importing FMT so I can print to the screen and then I have a, my main function and then I have my variable testing equals one, two, three and then I can run that function. And as we can see, it's going to print out one, two, three. Now, what happens if I do testing one equals hello there, YouTube? And then I try to run this. So the first thing we can see right off the bat, now VS Code is saying that testing one is declared but not used. So right there, we can see that we have an issue. If I go to run this again, we can see testing one declared but not used. So this is exactly what I was talking about with the garbage collector. Go, it goes to compile and it says, nope, but guess what? You have an unused value. Why do you even have this in your code? So not only does it help you from a management perspective of, you know, what type of things are in your code and if they're being used or not, are they taking up memory? Are they taking up space in the application? But it makes you write concise code. It makes you write quality code. It makes you say, okay, I don't need this in there. I'm defining something that I don't even need. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you again next time.